right, y'all, the end of an era, taking down the 2021 board. I cannot lie, I'm not like sad to see it go. And moving on, so goodbye. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. In today's video, I am so excited. The time has finally come for me to share what manifested on my 2021 vision board. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching this video. I am someone who strongly believes in goal setting and vision boards. I believe in moving in silence, so I don't actually share what is on the vision board until this video you're about to watch. I can't wait to get into what actually manifested, so let's go. I'm gonna be reacting to my video from last year. All right, hello. If you're watching this, it is the end of 2021, and this is my vision board. It is January 1st, 2021. So the theme for this year is intention. So last year, I felt like I made dreams and put things on my vision board that I felt were really big things, and they came. And it was just, it just reminded me that I don't need to underestimate myself. As for what I think could happen, but what I want to happen, well, I'm trying to do this with this cat. Oh my God. Really dreaming bigger and setting intentions, getting crystal clear on what it is I want. Yes, that was the theme of 2021. And it was really interesting. This vision board was stressful for me. Looking at it, I didn't connect with it from the start. I didn't feel excited about it. I felt stressed. I felt anxious because I put huge, humongous, humongous goals on it. That manifested in the sense that this year I learned to meet myself where I'm at as far as what I believe, I can accomplish what I believe could come even if I've never accomplished it and allowed me to have the downtime to laser focus on what I actually wanted for myself. Not what I think I should get, not what I think other people think I should get, what I genuinely wanted. And by the end of this year, 2021, I feel so confident in my goals and my dreams and the direction I want to go. It manifested in a way that was painful, eye-opening, was scary and now i'm ending it feeling very sure so in the middle i put the quote quote for this year is staying prayed up taking care of myself loving my people minding my business and getting this bag that quote oh my gosh y'all this year was freaking crazy it really opened my eyes to everything the relationships i had in my life loving myself and the way that manifested was not like peaches and cream which is what i expected when i put it on my board i wanted it to be like a happy which it is happy. Like today, I can say I'm happy. Going through a transformation of having to stay prayed up, having to take care of myself and learn how to take care of myself and see where I could take care of myself better. Loving my people, paying attention to who wants to be my friend and allowing them to be my friend and allowing myself to be their friend. My Minding my business. I had no other option but to mind my business, y'all. This year, health-wise, mentally, I was going through it. Mental health was like, the lowest it has been ever. My physical health, had so many different things. I found out I might have endometriosis. I caught COVID, all kinds of things happened that forced me to mind my business, forced me to get more intentional about my health. Getting this bag, I really learned how I want to get the bag, what is fun for me to do, because my goal is to have fun and make money. I don't wanna be out here hustling. That's why I don't like the word hustle, because last year I was making a lot more money and I was sad. This year, put that into perspective. And, oh my gosh, oh, this cat is not Suki. I'm at my dad's house. It's this one, the redhead. Down here, my YouTube is monetized. My YouTube today is still not monetized and y'all know I'm losing silence, but I need help. So if y'all are watching this video, go ahead and loop my videos. All I'm missing is I think like, 500 or so watch hours will help your girl out i will be monetized next year but i just need the watch hours but i did reach a thousand subscribers this year i forgot i hit 1000 subscribers on youtube on friday and i had put on my vision board last year the amount of subscribers i want to have by the end of the year i like mocked this up this is not what it was last year and then i go into youtube look how many subscribers i have i'm still not monetized but it's on the way i'm not worried about it it's it's already happened in my eyes. Still have these definitely bar stools. So I did get my bar stools and that was so exciting for me. I hadn't gotten any because I was looking for those exact bar stools. So I didn't want to just get anything and I ended up finding bar stools that I actually 
liked better than those. It manifested in the sense that I found some that I liked better. The money for them, that was another issue. I have a lot of quotes on here. Um, I can and I will. So just reminding myself that I'm very powerful. I can do whatever it is I set my mind to. As long as it's intended for me, it will come. So that's what I got to remind myself. I have that mindset even more now today than I did on that day. It, the devil was busy this year, basically. And I definitely believe I can do, can and will do anything that's meant for me to do. And I have this Bible verse that was actually, I believe on my vision board last year. And it's Proverbs 16, three, commit to the Lord, whatever you do, and he will establish your plan. Um, setting intentions and not really worrying so much about the how and the what, but saying exactly what it is I want. So that's going hand in hand with that Bible verse. And here, body, body, goals, obviously. So this year I plan to have a fat booty and a flat stomach. And yes, my booty is booty and I definitely had some booty gains this year. Flat stomach. I'm still working on that. I don't really, it'll happen. Take actions toward my goals every day. This is a quote reminding me that A, even if it's something small, it's still a big step towards what I want. And B, as long as I'm doing something, it's always going towards my goal. This year showed me, like put a flashlight on, this, on myself. Like Ebony, you want certain things, but you're not going towards them. I was so afraid to take even a small step. It wasn't really meant to be a manifestation thing. It was meant to be a reminder. It reminded me of how much it's gonna take on my end and how much responsibility to put on myself to do certain things. Um, I definitely wanna travel this year as long as it's safe, which I'm manifesting that Corona gets, gets on and we can travel and do things. So this is me with my bags, you know, going somewhere. I did travel this year. I went to Vegas for the first time. I went to Miami. I went to St. Augustine. I went to uh, Georgia. I went to, or Atlanta. Um, here I have Miss Dior. I sniffed this perfume. I wore it with a sample sometime in 2020. That was like my boss fragrance. Like when I imagine myself being a full-time business woman, I smell like Miss Dior. It just smells like a boss fragrance. All right, y'all. So finally, I got my fragrance, my boss lady fragrance, Miss Dior. Actually, is this the right one? Check, 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 check off the vision board. Here I am in Tulum. So my cousins and friends, we are planning a trip to Tulum in February. So I did not go to Tulum this year. I did have that scene in Miami, rented an Airbnb that had a pool and I was drinking all kind of stuff. Here is my sales for the year. So I'm going big, go big or go home. Set total sales $133.342. Oh my gosh, I can't even say it. That was way, that goal, it could have happened, but it didn't. I would can honestly say today, I did not have the tools necessary to get to that point this early in the game. My boutique just turned one. Not saying it can't happen, but it was not meant for that to happen right now. Would I be able to handle that amount at that time? I don't think so. Um, this is me in my warehouse. Nicole Linnell has always inspired me. Having her on my vision board was also like just looking at her and her journey and where she's at and what she does was very inspiring, but it was not time for the warehouse yet. It's coming when it's meant to go. Love flower. My man sent me roses. Oh my God. Okay, I always put bouquets and roses all over my board because I would one day want to receive those as a gift from a romantic partner. I made more strides in doing those things for myself. I bought myself roses more often and I received my own figurative roses. Have like multiple opportunities to be featured in stuff. QuickBooks featured Ebb and Flow in its gift guide for Black History Month. I had my first podcast interview and it's not out yet. This is pending, but I have my first magazine interview coming out. If people really noticed me and what I was doing, even like comments on YouTube, at least once a week, I get a message of someone saying how much I helped them. The figurative, and physical sense of that. I actually did have roses in my house. They just weren't from someone else. Um, black opium. This is my date night fragrance. I didn't actually get black opium. I got Mom Paris, which I ended up liking better. So this, your girl has skill. I really, at this point, want Evan Flow to be a cohesive household brand. Like, you know, when you see 
that is ebb and flow july august i started a rebrand of ebb and flow not just the logo and the colors but ebb and flow's mission its principles how i want ebb and flow to be perceived getting ebb and flow back to what i originally intended for it to be which was helping people look good so that they feel good that's nicole linnell's packaging i think she posted a picture last year and i just put ebb and flow on it my logo actually low-key looks like that monogram i really want this for my birthday oh i actually did get that my stepmom asked me at some point like what do you want for your birthday and usually i don't want anything i get my own stuff for the most part i showed her a picture just in passing it was not even like here's this picture i'm gonna send it to you it was just like this is the cake i want i was gonna order it for myself to do like a little birthday thing lo and behold she remembered how it looked and made the cake and then it was real money on top so it was even better than what i imagined there again a man that is spiritually well i actually met a man not, he looked very similar to this guy except he had dread and he's very spiritual um this quote is really important for me this year because i felt in 2020 i lived in flow but didn't at the same time like with relationships i was really like wanting it to happen so bad and i feel like i had to work hard at it and i know in the back of my mind anything that's meant for you is going to happen just easily and that's something that i'm reminding myself of in 2021 I no longer force things, what flows, flows, what crashes, crashes. I only have space and energy for the things that are meant for me. And so just reminding myself that things happen in divine timing. Whatever's meant to happen is going to happen when it's meant to happen. I put that quote on my board to be as a like cool girl. I don't get hurt and I don't let things bother me. And this year, y'all, oh my God, there were so many things that I had no choice but to go with the flow because I either didn't know what to do or there was nothing I could do. It was out of my control. And that's when it comes to relationships. That's when it comes to finances. Uh, there were so many things that had to just walk away. In the same sense, that quote reminded me to let myself be who I am. I felt like I was trying to be so many things outside of who I am instead of just embracing who I am. I'm not the type of person that gives up on people easily. Like if I have feelings for someone, like genuine feelings, I don't get over them in the same week month like it depends but it can take me years sometimes to fully be over and healed from the situation and i give chances i give second third fourth fifth it don't even matter sometimes i give some people so many chances you see so many things online nowadays where it's like oh i'm a femininity coach and you should just let that man go and let him do this and if he wanted to he would which is true is i agree if a man wants to he will stuff like that was causing me to feel like there's something wrong with me if i and not like this ice queen. If someone hurt me, my feelings are hurt. And I don't know how long it takes me to get over the feelings being hurt, knowing that about myself and improving where I can and getting help where I can, but not thinking something's wrong with me for being hurt by somebody and not going with the flow of the hurt and whatever. Going with the flow for me looks like being hurt by it, allow myself to feel the emotion. And then when I feel ready, moving forward you see so many people like brenda from wherever saying her baby daddy left her for dead and she don't even care i ain't brenda from wherever i'm ebony from bay county florida if my baby daddy left me and left me for dead i would be hurt and upset and i don't know how long it would take me to get over that but forcing which is what that quote definitely said not to do i was forcing myself to be someone that i'm not like you are who you are it's easier for you to be who you are and improve and better yourself where you can, but meet yourself where you're at and allow yourself to be is what I learned from that quote and from 2021. And then this is a quote from a song I listened to pretty often called Cuban Links by Ron Wave. Wake up in the morning, hit my knees and I pray because he finally made a way. So basically just reminding myself to stay grateful, stay humble, and continue praying every morning and always make time to pray every morning. I almost wanna get emotional reading that or hear myself say that y'all this year, like I've been in the darkest pits of depression this year and felt so lonely, got to the point where I had no option but to look to God. I feel like this year was just meant to happen that way. I was meant to come closer to God and closer to my spirituality and ask for help. This really reminds me of how far I've come. Seeing myself today, feeling happier and more excited about my future and excited about just today shows that I have come a long way this year and that was the point point. and yes so by the time you're watching this 
this came true the vision board of 2021 it is december 2021 if you are seeing any of this period bird oh that stuff kind of makes me sad i don't know seeing your past self speak about the year 2021 will never be forgotten trust and believe i can't say i'm sad to see it go but i'm grateful for the year i'm grateful for the lessons i learned this year i don't want to talk negative about the year but when i think about 2021 i think about negativity and purging and loneliness and cleansing myself and depression and anxiety so many things had to happen this year for me to get into the place i'm in today like today i feel so much better i feel like i grew a lot a lot more than I was expecting when I made that vision board and learned so much about myself, learned so much about others, learned so much about what I can withstand, how situations can be turned around in a positive or negative way like that. Overall, 2021 was the year of growth, change, and evaluation. That's how I'm gonna remember this year. And yeah. with that being said, thank y'all for watching this video and reflecting on 2021 with me i'm excited for 2022 I actually just finished my new vision board and just finished recording for next year's video so i cannot wait i'm already so excited about that vision board and what i learned from this year and putting it into practice so i cannot wait if you like this video make sure you give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment share with a friend and hit that subscribe button Turn on the bell notification so you know when I post. And don't forget, y'all, we are still trying to get to those watch hours. So definitely loop my videos, whatever you got to do. Please help you grow up. Thank y'all for watching. Wishing you much success with all of your dreams and goals. I will talk to y'all soon. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Bye.